Welcome to the Headlines Live with me, Rob Double, here on Core Politics. Let's have a look on, on Wednesday, the 6th of September 2017. Let's have a look at what's making the headlines today. So there's one clear story coming through in pretty much all the papers today, but let's ignore that for one second and let's look at what else uh, is on the front pages. Uh, first up from the Times, MPs' numbers scrappage is going to be abandoned. Now, this is a commitment by Theresa May to uh, abandon a pledge uh, to reduce the number of MPs in the House of Commons by 50, to send it down to 600 from 650. That would save about £50 million uh, over a five-year full-term parliament. And it would make the Commons, it would say, similar to Western-style dem democratic chambers. And also it would equalise constituencies by changing the boundaries so that there were effectively the same amount of people within each constituency. It was opposed by the DUP, it was opposed by Labour, but the government now has very strongly indicated that it will not fulfil that pledge uh, it was going to perform. Next up, the Archbishop, uh, Archbishop of Canterbury's intervention. This is in the I newspaper. It's calling it an extraordinary political intervention. Uh, Justin Welby has said that the Britons talked of Britain's unfair economy, uh, saying and calling for higher pay for workers, fairer taxes and school reforms. Uh, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, I should say, has rejected the criticism from the Archbishop, saying the UK is becoming a more equal society. And finally, this isn't in the papers at the moment because when they went to print it wasn't uh, coming out, but this is breaking news uh, that Hurricane Irma has hit land. It's uh, the most powerful Atlantic Ocean hurricane recorded in history. Uh, it's made landfall on the north the East Caribbean islands. Um, keep up with international news feeds if you want to know more on that. But that's the breaking story this morning. Expect more of that in the news feed uh, later on today. Let's look in focus then at this main story, which is pretty much on all the front pages, an end to mass migration after Brexit. Now, we've looked at the FT and the Daily Mail here, but it's pretty much on every paper uh, you can get. Uh, it's basically referring to a leaked Home Office document, which is showing uh, plans for the UK to end the freedom of movement uh, of Labour after Brexit um, after March 2019. Uh, FT is saying it, this, the aim is to preserve the highest skill base for workers and the ideas being floated around amongst all the papers in terms to this uh, leaked document is ideas such as uh, wanting to lower the amount of skilled workers coming into the UK so either a direct numerical cap or British jobs have to be offered first to British workers, uh, shorter residencies for lower skilled workers, uh, FT is saying a maximum of two years but perhaps work permits for up to three or five years. Uh, more restrictions on migrant rights to bring families over with them uh, when they come to work and when they come to settle. I should say also that the FT has reported a Whitehall source is saying the document's well out of date, it's, there's at least five more versions of it, uh, and the one that's in the paper today is not accurate. But that's definitely going to be in the news uh, today, and pick up pretty much any paper if you want to have uh, more of a read on that. Finally then, this is also pretty much covering the, uh, the headlines in terms of photos, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Uh, Meghan Markle has revealed in an interview uh, with Vanity Fair magazine that her and Prince Harry are really happy and in love. This has obviously immediately fueled rumours that there's going to be some kind of royal engagement and another royal wedding. That's pretty much it for today. You're up to date. Don't forget you can find all the latest on what we're doing today on our social feeds on Facebook and Twitter. But from me, Rob Double and all the team here at Core London, have a fantastic rest of your day.